Welcome to HelpForAccess.com, Microsoft Access Premium Consulting Services. Today we're going to demonstrate the basic features that come standard in every Help For Access custom database application. Every application Help For Access produces comes with a standard set of six features you'll use to better manage your data. These features include, one, a login screen that accepts a username and password, two, application navigation switchboard, as well as sidebar navigation, three, the ability to search and find particular records within the database, four, the ability to sort the records by a particular column and within a particular, uh, by a direction, whether ascending or descending, five, several record maintenance functions which include create records, save records, print, edit, and delete records within the database, and six, a link for getting help fast at helpforaccess.com. To start your application, double click on the shortcut placed on your desktop by your system administrator. The application starts and the login screen appears. Type in the username and password your system administrator gave you and then click on this button here to log into the database. After successful login, the main menu will open and you'll use the main menu here to navigate the application's forms and reports. For this demonstration, we're demonstrating a database application written for the Family Education and Resource Center FERC, in Alameda County, California, which they use to track, record, and report client services. However, all the data that you'll see today is fake and just test data made for this demonstration. The main menu or switchboard is used as the highest level of navigation and gives you access to all functional areas within the system. The switchboard will only show functional areas that the current user is allowed to access. I'm currently logged in as an administrator so I can see the database administration menu item here. The first three functional areas are specific to this application. The last three functional areas, reports, database administration, and exit, are included in every database application. Reports and database administration are covered in our advanced training video. Navigation of the main switchboard can be performed by either using the mouse or the up and down keys on the keyboard. Once you have chosen a menu button or functional area that you wish to navigate to, into, you can either click it with the mouse or press the spacebar. To demonstrate Help for Access standard database features, we'll spend most of our time in the client information screen here. I'll click on it now to open the client information screen. We now see for the first time the sidebar navigation feature. Record maintenance and navigation are all contained within the sidebar navigation area. From the sidebar navigation, you can perform any of these six actions. Add, Modify, View, Refresh, Delete, Query, or Print. The Return button takes us back to the main switchboard. Before I demonstrate each button in the sidebar navigation, I want to show you how to search. Searching or filtering to find the record you need within the database can be performed within two different areas. One, by context, and secondly, by the query button located in the sidebar navigation area. I'll start by showing you the query button method first. This is a good time to point out that anywhere within 
a help for access database application where there is an underline as there is on every button contained in the sidebar navigation A, M, V, R, D, Q, P, and E. The underlying character signifies a quick key street keystroke is available. A quick key keystroke is a kind of shortcut in the case of the sidebar navigation, every button can be activated by holding down the Alt button and then pressing the character underlined. To back activate the Query button, I can either click on it with the mouse or I can use the Query button's Quick Key Keystroke, which is activated by holding down the Alt key and then pressing the letter Q. The search query form opens and allows you to filter by numerous com column combinations to include dates. We're going to filter or search this list of clients here in the background for the clients which name contains or is like the characters 9-9. You see that our test data here is all fictitious, uh, but part of the name contains a number. We're going to search for all clients that have 99 in their client name. We're also going to search from that list of clients, we're going to search for clients that also have the ethnicity of native uh, African American but do not live in Oakland, California. I'm going to click on the show data button here after I enter in each filter to demonstrate how the search query form narrows down the results and applies each filter. So for client name I'm going to start star 99 star and click show data and we'll see this background information this background amount of clients be reduced. Now we have a subset of all the clients now showing just clients with 99 somewhere within the client name. The star or asterisk which is located on the number key number 8 means all or anything before or after the 99. So star 99 star means to find all the clients in this list with 99 somewhere within their name. We see 99 is contained somewhere within everyone's name being displayed after I clicked the show data button. Now to further narrow this list I'm going to search where ethnicity is like African American and I click on show data and now we see just three results two of people two clients in Oakland one in Berkeley now I'm gonna say don't show me the clients that are in Oakland and I type in I say not like in city and I s type in o Oak I could either search from the list uh, select from the list or slowly ty type uh, I could type in uh, if I can spell in to the drop-down list the city Oakland and now when I click show data I expect to see that these two client records will be filtered and will only have the one John 99 Doe 99 be displayed Now let's perform the same search using the other method, the context method. So I'm going to close the search query form, reset this form by clicking refresh, 
now to filter by context, I'm going to right click on the client name and select the text filter that's, that's, uh, contains star 99 star click OK and we see that it filters those just those clients with 99 in the client name now to further narrow our list like we did with the query search form I'm going to double click on African American because we're going to we're going to we're going to choose just uh, we're going to filter just uh, by African American and now when I right click and select equals African American it automatic it quickly narrows down the list to those three and in a similar fashion if I click on Oakland and say does not equal Oakland we're narrowed back down again to John 99 Doe so this is how this is the second method of searching or filtering and this is by context meaning that you can you can click on the column directly click on the column that you want to filter by and start filtering right there you've learned how to find and filter records in two ways the first by utilizing the query search feature in, located in the sidebar navigation and the second method for finding records was the context sensitive where you click on a particular column that you would like to filter by and filter next we'll learn you'll learn how to sort the records that you found sorting allows us to 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 arrange the records in a particular pattern to make it easier to see I will first uh, filter all clients that don't have a city assigned so I'll right click on city select a text filter and does not contain null null now the screen is not showing any clients that don't have a city next I want to sort in alphabetical order the cities so I'll right click on city and say sort A to Z and now we see that all the Alameda counties come first this is how you can sort you can also sort on client name sort A to Z or if we wanted we could we could sort descending order from Z to A and we'd see that all 76 age age 76 or above comes up first you've now learned to sort in by context in ascending and descending order next we'll learn how to modify individual records that we found to edit a record place the cursor anywhere within the row you wish to edit and then click the modify button located in the sidebar navigation the system displays the record ready for editing I'll edit the record by changing the date of birth the system will automatically recalculate the age field after I type in the date the system will calculate the age and the age range I'm also going to add a phone number down here to show you how the drop-down lists function a drop-down list allows you to pick from a list of values or type a value in from the keyboard if you need an additional value added to the list please contact your system administrator adding values to drop-down lists will be covered in the advanced training session to save this phone number I'm going to click on the pencil now I want to show you how to delete the record we just added to, s to delete the phone number record I'm going to select the record that we want to delete by clicking on the record selector then hit the delete key 
the system will ask, are we sure? Yes, we're sure. Now, we can save our overall changes in two ways, either by clicking the Save button or the Return key. Both will save the record. The Save key will stay on the existing, leave the existing screen open. The Return record will return us to our previous screen. I'm going to click on the Return key now. Editing is just that easy. Next, I'll show you how the Print button functions. From the Client List form, the Print button, located in the sidebar navigation, will print a report showing all of the records. From the Print Preview tab, we can choose to output this report into many options. We can send it straight to the printer. We can export it to Excel export it to a text file, export it to a PDF document, or email it. For this demonstration, I'm going to export it to Microsoft Excel. And that concludes the print function. Clicking return returns us to the main switchboard. The last feature to discuss today is how to receive help. Double clicking on the Help for Access logo will open up a browser to our website where you can get help fast. For fastest service, please give us a call at our toll free number 855 484-3435 or send us an email through the website by filling out this form, putting some comments in. You can even select a file to upload to us and then click the submit form. A support representative will contact you within a few hours. This concludes our demonstration of Help for Access standard database application features. Within this video, you have learned how to manage your data by utilizing six data management features Help for Access builds into every database application. These features include 1. A login screen, which accepts a username and password. 2. An application navigation switchboard, as well as sidebar navigation. 3. The ability to search and find a particular record or set of records, both by context and by utilizing the sidebar navigation area. 4. The ability to sort records in ascending or descending order. 5. You've learned several record maintenance functions, which include how to create records, save, print, edit, and delete records within the database application. And 6. You have also learned now how to contact Help for Access Support if you have further questions. Look for our next video where we'll demonstrate the advanced features within Help for Access database applications. Thank you.